It's Tuesday, October 25th, and just recently, Tesla Motors CEO Elon Musk said from now on, all the cars coming from his company would have the needed tech to drive themselves into the future in the near future. To prove his point, Tesla published a video showing one of their cars navigating through Silicon Valley traffic on its own, while a pitiful human manned the driver's seat strictly for legal reasons. And once it safely reached its destination, the driver, excuse me, the passenger, got out, walked away, and the car parallel parked itself. Impressive. Welcome to the future, right? Actually, big deal, because automated trucking outfit Auto, which was recently purchased by Uber, just rolled a whole semi full of Budweiser down 120 miles of freeway from Fort Collins, Colorado, through Denver to Colorado Springs, with essentially no one at the wheel. No, the driver didn't pull a homer and doze off only to have a secret automatic driving system take over, although that's not very far off from how the system actually works. See, no one is driving. In truth, the drone ghost beer truck did all its own driving on the open highway while the human driver took over only while on city streets. How did it do it? A lot of sensors, radar, cameras, GPS, and computing power. Auto claims its self-driving semi-tech is very safe. So far, so good. A lot of people are saying they're holding off on upgrading to a new iPhone until next year when Apple is expected to reveal a 10-year anniversary model with all sorts of cool new tech, including the possibility of an edge-to-edge -edge display like in this concept image, or in this image, except this isn't a concept iPhone image, it's a real phone, the Xiaomi Mi Mix, and it goes on sale in November in China. And there's more to the phone than just that pretty 6.4-inch screen. The My Mix also features a ceramic body, something that Apple has been rumored to be considering for the next iPhone. The Mix also packs a 16 gigapixel camera, 6 gigs of RAM, up to 256 gigs of memory, a Snapdragon 821 heartbeat, wireless charging, high-res audio, and a huge 4400 milliamp hour battery, which it will probably need. Cost is 600 bucks for the 256 gig model, which is well below the cost of an iPhone 7 Plus, but again, only in China, at least for now. Hot on the heels of Samsung saying that yes, there actually will be a Galaxy Note 8, despite the somewhat toasty reputation of the Note 7, word now is that the new flagship phone, the Galaxy S8, is on track for a February reveal. Rumors have been all over the place, it was either going to be delayed due to the Note 7 fiasco or it was going to be released early, also due to the Note 7 fiasco. But Samsung reportedly told a South Korean news outlet the rollout would take place as planned at Mobile World Congress in February of next year. The S8 is rumored to be packing 6 gigs of RAM, a 5.5-inch 4K AMOLED display, and presumably Presumably every other trick in Samsung's book. It'll be premium priced, but if you trade in that Time Bomb Note 7 now, they might give you a substantial discount when the S8 arrives. We recommend you take advantage of that. That's it for DT Daily today. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow.